Right. Mini one fan resistor. It's in there behind there on the left hand side. Connector for it, it's here on the right hand side. So you're gonna test our fan and unplug the connector. Make two hands for that. So here it is unplugged. Two uh, sorry, three pins, one black, two red wires on the back. Black one will be negative and two red ones one will be low speed one will be high speed so if we just bring 12 volts negative to negative and then positive to one of these pins we can test independently high speed and low speed of the fan so made this little contraption here so i'm going to put one, well it's just a cable with some crocodile clips, one on negative of the battery, other one on positive of the battery and we go to this connector here one on the top is positive, sorry negative so I'm just gonna click on that one and then with this other one, I'll touch one, then the other one. So one below, negative, it's not giving anything. One on the other side, runs the fan on a high speed. The high speed works, low speed doesn't. Disconnect from the battery so I don't make accidents. So as we got the connector there, one on the top is negative, one underneath is low speed, one on the right is high speed. Now, this is replacement resistor, uh, it's not genuine one, it's one of the copies, hopefully it will work fine. So if we follow the wiring from this connector here, it goes around the left hand side of the radiator and the resistor is located behind this box here. So there are two bolts, one there and one behind this plastic panel or section of the slum panel. So really what we need to do is move the radiator forward. Now to do that we need to put the radiator and a bumper in service mode. Which means taking the bumper off and releasing some of these bolts and shifting everything about 3 or 4 inches forward. In one of my previous videos I'm showing how to remove uh, the bumper and put radio in service mode but anyway on a bumper you got the bolt on the underside there I just remove that it's number uh, number eight little socket obviously symmetrically on this side then you have torque 30 one there one there and then you got some 10 mil bolts three of them on the underside and then you got these little clips here on the front, you just literally unclip it, ease it off, unplug the lights on both sides and you'll find down there, down below, external temperature sensor, I don't know if camera can pick it up, past the cobwebs. It's hard to see it really. There's external temperature sensor down there, down there, and um, you just unclip that off, off the bumper and pull the bumper off.
So here we are. All I did is just released buff top fixings from the slam panel, from the radiator to slam panel. Prize the radiator backwards, jammed this uh, trim removal tool there so I can access these two bolts here, size 8, and then I can literally undo them from here and hopefully we'll be able to slide resistor out so as you can see I have released cable that went behind there pushed it underneath released the cable that feeds the fan and now I managed to jiggle out this resistor and now it's going to be a matter of replacing it with the other one I can see exactly where it broke it's there let me get something pointy See that element there? That's where it broke. That's supposed to be connected with this bit here. And that's why it doesn't work. So let's try to separate this. It's pretty much identical. So all we're gonna do now is cut these cables, connect to these, and put it all back together. Just do it like for like. So I've got some options here now, I'm going to join this and I choose crimping, the crimps, because it's fairly reliable and a quick way, joining cables. So first, I'll strip the ends. about 10 millimeters, 12, half inch, whatever, like that, just twist them, Let me just check, yeah, that's better, so heat shrink, over the cable, that's it. I mean, the other, the other option would be to do soldering, to solder the joints. So, can't be bothered with that now, to be honest. So, I put a crimp on, crimping pliers. One. Good, so that's prepped up. Now, let's 
through this. So we got red wire that is on its own. So if I cut that one. This red wire that is on its own. And cream. Then let's do the other red wire. That's a thicker wire, that's obviously one for high speed. Almost feel if I had to use larger crimps, maybe the yellow color, it still fits in blue one. So it's just about. And then blue wire is going back to fan. So blue wire there. I mean, there would there would be ways of maybe bypassing this. You could literally cut it all out and, and then fit fit it in different locations you don't have to really pull out all the all this radiator and slump panel and everything but I'm gonna do it this way blue wire is positive feed to the fan Right, there we go. So the way it works is when you get the power from this side here, that one there on its own, on the right hand side on the bottom, that's a high speed. That will come on a high speed wire, slightly thicker. We'll go to this port here and straight to the motor. If you get power coming to the smaller wire, which is low speed, will come here, through the resistor, will drop the voltage, and then come out towards the fan, with lower speed. Simple. So if resistor doesn't work, low speed doesn't work. So as this is set up here, could have really made life easier and fit it on this end, that's possible as well. So if this ever fails in here, I'll probably next time do it on this end here, a bit more accessible than 
the way how they done it in factory. And then is mat just a matter of putting everything back together. So we have these wires. Oh, before I do that, I'll just put a heat shrink. The whole purpose of a heat shrink is to protect this these joints. So I'm gonna put heat shrink on. Almost forgot that. Nicely over the joints, and we're going to shrink it. Now, heat gun. Cover back on. And we're going to test it. So we know this one here is negative. It's trying to fight me. Right, that was high speed. Let's try low speed. It works. Again, because this is aftermarket part, I don't know how well will serve if it breaks, and I'll fit one further up the line because it can it can be done, it can be done. Now put it back together, same thing, a bit of jiggery pokery, twist it around. Jam it in, feed the wire all the way around back to original position and obviously two bolts back on. job relatively simple it's there it's all back the connector is here it's a actually broken connector so I used cable clip 
to secure it to the bracket. It's all there now. It's gonna be good. Thank you.